do you guys do you guys know what is one thing that really oh by the way picture me hello i don't know how much longer i have on this earth but i sure hope i don't have it all in this particular country because interesting situations people find themselves in I'll tell you one thing that I have observed about this um, country so it's considered a developed country and so they are very 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 nationalist and very 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 um, to the core about their own and basically there is Japan and there is everything else is called the country of non-Japan everything else outside of it so it's very interesting how I've seen posters in my schools of um, kids in Somalia or where else somewhere in the in Africa very compassionate about it they even show um, those posters of hungry kids that are like skeletons in Africa so that so that the children in elementary schools can see that and they can eat all their lunch and be grateful for it so that they can be raised with this gratitude constant gratitude for what they have even if it's a meager lunch and it's not enough for them at least it's not enough for my kids but um this almost like a guilt that you live in a good place and there are so many people suffering out there so they're really good at and compassionate about um countries that are third world country or developing countries they're very very compassionate about it um but um if it comes to say an equal country like the states Oh yeah, on the on the surface, on the top, it's all good. It's all good. They're in a good relationship. Donald Trump was really great. They're all like, yeah, let's go America, right? But on the underneath the surface, what you don't see is how much they actually do not like American people. And how much they think you know they're strongly opinionated, and they cannot really do much business with them until, unless until and unless, the American person or business would make their standards equal to what is the standard in here. Meaning, you have to become in your business in a way. Japanese to, to be existing here in the, in Japan and it's not only the Americans actually it's everybody you cannot really drive in Japan for more than a year with your own driving license unless you're like from those developed countries a few from from Europe the states and I don't know so you have to go through there from starting from the ABC from their um, driving schools um, or take um, equal exam or something so you just have to go into their standards and you have to go through their channels and you have to adapt and accept what's in here right so every country has those things right that, that standard so um but what i have really uh, found interesting is how how they're so compassionate about those that are lower level than them and then how not nasty i don't want to say the word nasty but avoiding or not really wanting to deal with um those who are equally um, developed or um you know like them very interesting i have noticed that and uh, their opinion about that and them um with that said um let me tell you about my experience yesterday in in elementary school um and how 
and how humiliating it was um, because out of a sudden you don't feel like a human anymore in the room and um, just because you have this um, the features of a foreigner and you're not brought up and raised with their thinking and their brainwashing and how they start from nursery school to brainwash the kids and to prepare them for the working class life so um, I'm not gonna go into details about why because I've had videos about it already I think they were called Japanese interrog interrogation Japanese style or something like that and it got really nasty and ugly and um, it involves my oldest son and um, apparently he was he here's the thing so I thought at this time that it was him but actually now I think it's just me and because they're my offspring it's just um so there is a there is a foreigner here on our um in our neighborhood um, her son doesn't like my son let's bully them Let, let's let's make their life miserable um because um she's not gonna say much who cares uh, what this bulgarian thinks about um you know how weird my son is right yeah so um not gonna go into the ugly details because I'm still fuming inside um, and so um, I'm just gonna say this it really hurt because um, here's the truth when we went to have this conversation we were to apologize for something my son said to her son that was inappropriate in a way that um, she's pregnant with her ninth kid with the second marriage she has two from before they're grown up already and she had the same ob doctor in this very very specific um hospital that i was checked by because i had twins i he was the only one in the whole prefecture to deal with multiples pregnancies of multiples and so he probably takes all those like after 40 kind of so he's nasty i don't want to see his freaking face anymore i'm glad he he cut me well and split spilled my blood all over the place including flying on my arm um bad experience nightmare that i want to go back to the healing process as well how they screwed up my back it's a completely different story that i was pretty much disabled for a year more than a year um, she has the same doctor and her husband shared with the husband here that um, you know he was this and that and she, he was telling her to stop having kids already because you know it's like the ninth one and she got offended and she requested a different OB doctor now that alone can tell a lot about a person. A medical personnel telling you to stop having kids is that's professional. That's not like he, he cares about what your lifestyle and how drunk you get to to make kids. I don't know. Not of my business, right? So that's a professional opinion how does she respond to that is yeah i don't want to that guy i want to have another guy to take my baby mm. i mean you can have baby seven if you're up to 73 who cares as long as you have your period you're fine you can have as many kids as you want i don't care about that but um it's very interesting um that my son i guess when his father told me about it in the kitchen i guess he heard it and so um they were talking at school about um this child benefit that does money that the government government is preparing for each child in the fam and i don't know what when they're distributing them or what but like they want to be helpful due to the pandemic and you know so many people of their businesses and stuff so they want to help and so they were talking in science class about it and then the weasel 
tells the group that Yamato happened to be in that, you know, his mommy has one more, so they're gonna get more money. And so, yeah, and my, my son was saying something like, well, isn't, isn't she like, I don't know what he said exactly. Something like in the lines, if she's, isn't she too old? Isn't it like too risky to have child in this age? And so he, um, or he said, he said something like the doctor told her, uh, that's what he said, that the doctor told her to not have any more kids because it's risky. And so that little weasel didn't know about that. So he goes home and tells her she, she's filming calling the school and the teacher and she wants, and she, um, she wants from us to, you know, apologize. And so, you know, we, we talked to our son and, you know, we, he understood that he has to keep his mouth shut altogether. But, um, but that was just like one little drop of oil that, um, got into the fire already existing there. So we go to that meeting yesterday and, and the twins were with us. So thank goodness the phone helped a little bit to keep them down. Um, they started with a history of how my son, because there are six, there are six boys in that, in that school, the classes are really small. That class has seven girls and six boys. From those six boys, one is my son and one is that weasel and then the other four tend to go and play more with my son than that weasel and the reason i call him a weasel is because he is one um you name it he has it as an attribute fabricating uh, lies for attention um even his older siblings, when they were still in elementary school, were saying, yeah, what he's saying is not true. And so my boys were like, oh, okay. Um, and he's just making up things to be the cool kid. Um, he plays the victim, like why they avoid me, why they don't want to play with me, why they always um, go, um, you know, shoo, 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 shoo behind, you know, secretly talking secretly things and I cannot be there like things like that so he tells his mom how you know um, the boys get together in um, my boy's house and play on Saturdays and they don't invite him and so he plays the victim right the mother is also playing the victim and so she, she multiple times called the, the school I really don't want to get in detail you guys about that it's, it's been go ongoing since June according to the nursery uh, to, no, to the homeroom teacher and um when i start when i had the chance to actually talk i said that 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 starts from nursery school actually and 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 that's because um her weasel uh was angry with my boy but my boy in the nursery school was a bit bigger already in size so he couldn't pick up on him so he went and whacked his younger brother behind from behind on the head I was not okay with that. I'm still not okay with that. And from that, I got a really, really nice conclusion about this uh, weasel and his weasel town. So, um, um, I don't know if, if my boys, if, if, if my oldest um, avoids him since then and he just drives him crazy since then. I, I'm pretty sure he does. But, um, it's been a nightmare since this year started so that particular um homeroom teacher was their teacher also in third grade no problem back then no problem nobody called anybody everything life life was wonderful right only it wasn't for my boy though he he still came he came back angry and he um told me recently that in fourth grade which is last year um couldn't handle it because he was sitting on his desk at his desk doing not, like nothing to confront him and that weasel would go on and on and on Yamato my son just got up and punched him he said I just got up mommy and I punched him because I couldn't handle it anymore I'm like what did he do did he go talk cry to the teacher he said no he just went somewhere and cried um I told him I remember telling my son thank you for doing that because it kind of avenges what he did to your brother back in the nursery school um and you have my full permission to do that again if you can if you cannot handle it. now do you think i'm raising a bully do you think i'm raising and encouraging um 
um, physical. I don't think so. I don't think so. And my kid isn't like that. He just, um, I can only imagine how much he was furious to do that. He, he, he never, he will never. So, yeah. But what, what was really interesting to me was that um, we were there in that room yesterday. The principal and the vice are present. The homeroom teacher is there. Oh, by the way, we had a meeting set up. The vice president, the vice principal set up a meeting on Sunday, last Sunday um, at 3.30 or something like that. And she canceled it because the homeroom teacher wasn't there, her ally, because she's been talking to her. She's been complaining to her about my son. Um, and and she came up with the idea, you know, the the, the vice president principal just came to the school, so he doesn't really have any idea what's going on. Yeah, you got that right. He doesn't, but he can very much be introduced to it. In twenty minutes, I can explain the whole thing. But um, um, when I I I wanted to confront her, and I wanted to tell her that last time we met was in a nursery school. And I asked her if she remembers why we were there. And so she fumed. She got so angry. Like, what is this? I don't want to hear about that. That's not why we're here. So I was like, hey, hey, hey. You're his mom. You're, you're his mom. I'm my son's mom. You talk. I talk to. What kind of name? What kind of name? I don't understand. I don't understand. I'm like, I'm sorry. I'm Yamato's mom. I have. I have right to express my opinion as well and uh, it didn't go well before that happened however as we were sitting me and husband and then her and her husband they were both I was watching them for about 20 30 minutes I was watching them they none of them looked at me do you understand guys I'm invisible in the in the room they would talk to him they would turn towards the homeroom teacher they would talk to him nobody looked at me so when i started talking and she finally realized i'm in the room she fumed because i brought her old bones out and so yeah it was really really great experience to see first how racist they are and um how foreigners are being treated here that was very very well i knew it it's not an eye-opener for me it just confirmed to me something I've been dealing with for years here as a foreigner and I'm getting sick of it and so um, there was a foreigner recently sent back to his country because he was caught putting camera in the ladies room and students ladies room in junior high school so he helped very much to people to have the image of foreigners right that that's very helpful especially for male foreigners i feel bad for them because now everybody's potentially putting cameras in the ladies room to watch the girls peeing very interesting so i mean you know they're perverts of all sorts and kinds but um and he's been here for years as a teacher so that, not too bad but you know i'm not that kind of foreigner that goes out of her way to um go and confront people and create problems and stuff like that i don't think so not no my intentions however guy guy get get up however when weasel town comes to comes to the school to tell them how horrible my son is and how um he's so bad that he gets all the other boys the, the other four boys on his side and nobody invites her son i wanted to ask her why do you think that is why why do you think that is and so i didn't have the chance to say a word of what i wanted to say i left because i didn't feel wanted needed or appreciated for being there and so i left ah! i left with my babies and you know unfortunately it's okay it's okay sweetheart it's okay we will change your clothes anyways you guys are probably wet and dirty too much it's okay sweetheart it's okay don't worry you just fell from the wall hey guy guy 
from the wheelbarrow. That's okay, sweetheart. Be careful. Um, so, um, oh, and yeah, I left with my babies and I knew it was around two o'clock. It was way after the sixth period had started. Um, the fifth period, sorry, after lunch break and cleaning the school. So the teacher, the homeroom teacher was supposed to be in her classroom teaching. Um, not talking to some weasel town people um, victimizing themselves and how horrible the others are and how horrible the other parents are raising those horrible children, how poor her son was. Um, I knew that it was also their nap time. Um, by the time we go in the car, my baby girl was like crying and just crushed. So I kept calling dear husband to you know to come and just just leave that room and um we probably take it from some other time when everybody's appreciated in the room to begin with no he stayed and then he comes home later and he tells me you know oh but you're the one who left me as if everything in this world is about him um you know who cares he, he doesn't care a crap about his wife and um he just he just has me here for a as a leverage that um, he has an English school, you know, foreign wife, foreign kid, you know, kids speak English, so good for his business, very good, well planned. I just didn't know about that, unfortunately. So, um, so yeah, it's been great. So from now on, um, I will be writing to the school. I will use Google Translation. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be really fun. I'm gonna write to them. And I am going to write to the Board of Education because, um, because I've had enough of racism, people blaming my kid and my kid living in fear every Saturday. Who's going to come patrolling from that house and see who is playing with home to be continued.